Hey guys, the humble Southpaw here with the Roaring Fire Gear uh, Brush Fire Tactical Backpack. And before we get going on this review and giving you the specs and the features along with my impression of this bag, just want to put out there that I won this through one of their contests, naming contests. So me and another person submitted the Brush Fire and they accepted that for this for this backpack. So just really wanted to give you guys a heads up on that, but yeah, you know, we did receive this for free. So let's go ahead and let's just go into this. This is a basically a 16 liter capacity backpack. It's a little bit small. You know, it's, you know the average backpack is maybe about 20 to 30. You know, the average you know everyday commuter type backpack, but definitely a good size backpack. Um, it's basically 15 and a three quarter inches tall. It's about 10 and a quarter inches wide and about six inches deep. So those are the measurements here. Um, nice, it's a 1050D uh, Ghidorah nylon, so it's got a heavier weave. It's uh, resistant to tears, UV lighting, so it's not gonna fade, it's not gonna deteriorate. Um, it's also resistant to stains from oil, paints, ink, and all that stuff. So, you know, great feature with that, that um, material. You know, definitely going to hold up, and you can definitely feel it. It is, and all of the bags have great, great material on it. I mean, I love their, I love how they use quality material in creating their bags. These are not cheap bags, um, and all that. So they're a good price, they're a good quality, and all that. So definitely a good thing. Also here, it is water resistant, but not waterproof. And they use YKK zippers, which are the, the premium zippers. They are the top of the line zippers. And you know, whenever you look for something and it says YKK zippers, you definitely know when you're getting a great product. So, um, and that also helps within having this good zipper in the water resistance, okay? And the big difference between waterproof, water resistance, this can't be submerged. Water's gonna get, but through light rain, some rain, you know, where you wipe it off and all that, it will hold back that water, it won't saturate it. So that's the big difference here. Um, nice pull tabs, multi, you know, for multi-directional on the, on, on all the pouches. Um, so those are uh, the materials and the specs. So let's go through some of the features, you know, which is a standard for them is they love this concealed compartment here for, for sunglasses or whatever. I mean, I love this pouch. They do it on the slingshot. If you can see behind me, that's the slingshot and all that. So I love how they do that. It's a nice added feature. Um, nice handle, nice padded handle, a little bit wider than the slingshot. Um, so that's a nice feature there. So we'll go here with, and then with the main compartment, which I like, which I just wish they had done with the slingshot because the slingshot stops about three quarters away, maybe halfway, so you can't open it all the way. Where this one here, this, you can stop it halfway to get at things, or you can open it all the way up. So that's a nice added feature, and it will lay flat. Okay, the straps are getting in the way there. So definitely nice, nice room. A little bit different than their other ones, I mean, everybody would talk about how they had that orange accent on the inside. This one is kind of more monotone down, you know, a little bit less bright and all that. I do like the, the orange interior, kind of just gives it a little bit more brightness and allows you to see things a little bit better. But definitely a nice, you know, no, no problems with that. Um, it, it provides two pouches on the side here. And then it has a tablet pouch in here and all that. And then as you can see, you get two other mesh zippered closed pouches here on the inside. So great features and all that. We'll zip it up a little bit here. Then you get another small uh, pocket here with a mesh pouch, not zippered, not closed, but it just never mesh, mesh pouch. And then you get another outer compartment. This one here does have a zippered mesh pouch on it, so that's kind of, it's nice. Uh, some mole straps, 
uh, some pockets to put knives, flashlights, pens, whatever you need on here. Um, this one here I would have made a little bit bigger maybe. Um, you know, this one here, I don't know, is that a pouch? Yeah. So I would have probably, well, that's for your pens and all that, but you know, they, they had their, their, what they were thinking and, and just because I feel it's, they should have done something different doesn't make it a wrong bag. So definitely, you know, they really well thought out, definitely with the pockets and all that. Uh, you see here, mole straps, nice added feature, the, uh, well, leather uh, logo here from Roaring Fire. Uh, another standard feature for their bags is the uh, water bottle, which allows you, depending on how the size of it, to tighten it up. Also, you can use this to put a um, whatever uh, umbrella, and then if you need to tighten it up, then you get here on this side, you get some more mole straps and that. And then from here, this is what they call the concealed carry compartment. Um, and if you've listened, seen some of my other reviews, I struggle. This one here is a little bit better. It's a little bit more flexible in getting into it. But to me, it could be opened up a little bit further. And I wish they would put multi-directional zippers on it. And if possible, maybe, maybe not, but if they could have worked it so there was another access to that concealed carry compartment from this side. At least, especially on a sling bag, you should have it access from both sides. Maybe with the backpack, it's not as necessary. But definitely to have multi-directional zippers, you know, this way, just give depending on where you're at, gives you access to that. Definitely good uh, compartment. But again, they call this concealed carry, but then they don't provide a holster. I mean, to me, if you're going to say I have a concealed carry compartment, provide a holster or at least the availability to purchase a holster from you guys. Um, this does have that hook and loop material in it, so you could use the one with the hook and loop on it and all this. Um, but that's the problem. It's trying to find one of those. I mean, Victos, you can buy one of theirs to use in here, which I've used on their uh, slingshot. So, but... This one here, this is a sticky holster and definitely a nice holster. Definitely covers the, the trigger and the trigger guard and all that. So there's no issues there. So, if, you know, you can lay that in here, but it's gonna float around a little bit because it is, there's nothing to hold it in there. But, you know, definitely, I'm not sure this is the type of bag you would be drawing from because of being a, a backpack and, you know, you're not having the capability of swinging it in front of you keeping it up against your chest and drawing so that's not a huge issue but definitely a lot of room you could definitely fit a full size 1911 a 2011 in here uh, this is uh the ross martin rm1c and it's about the size of a glock 19 this definitely fits in here perfectly oh and just for youtube's sake these guns are empty uh, the, mag the mags in here have uh, barrel block mag locks on there, so there's nothing you can see, nothing in there, so that's just a dummy um, mag block, but there's no ammo in there, and they were fully empty. They were checked before the video. So definitely nice feature, definitely a lot more accessibility to this pouch, so I do like that. I think they did a great job there. Uh, the slingshot's a little stiffer, a little bit harder to get into. Uh, some of the other nice features is, is the uh, stitching. This stitching is, is excellent, man. I do not see any very straight, uh, no ish zigzagging, no uh, poles or anything like that. And they definitely, in stress points, like here on the handle, they do a, a double, triple stitch on here. Uh, anywhere the moles are, you're seeing double, triple stitch. I'm not sure how, what it is. I'm just assuming you're seeing extra stitching there for those stress points. So that is very nice. And um, another nice feature is the straps. You know, these, these are comfortable. Uh, they're breathable. Nice padding on them. And again, you can see, I'm not sure, but there's it, stress points. There are uh, extra stitching on there to make sure they're secure. And then on the back here, they do have nice padding, and they are also breathable. So definitely a nice, nice bag. I enjoyed this. Um, 
This has been my go-to bag for carrying my uh, video equipment and gear when I go to the range to do videos. Uh, used this the whole time I was at the GOA conference. Between my wife and I, we carried, you know, my Panasonic G100, about three or four, three lenses, uh, a gimbal for the phone. So it held a lot, you know, bat extra batteries and memory cards. And it still had plenty of room. So definitely nice, very comfortable. Um, just to give you a comparison here, that's the slingshot. Almost the same size. I think this is 18 liters, this is 16 liters. Uh, these are my two favorite of the Roaring Fire uh, product line. Definitely love both of them. Um, would highly recommend this. Uh, definitely worth the money. Um, you're getting a good quality. Like I said, the stitching is excellent. Uh, the layout is excellent. The material they use is excellent. So I definitely would recommend this. And like I said, this has been one of my go-to bags. All right, guys. I hope that you found this uh, review helpful and that, you know, you go out. I'll put a link down below to Roaring Fire for this bag. I think it runs about $99 right now. Uh, but it's worth it. The price is worth it. So definitely give me a thumbs up. If you like more from uh, the videos I'm doing, please subscribe and definitely share. All right, guys, be safe out there.